Good morning. Uh, this is Aaron Forrest of Belbon Chiropractic, and these this is a, a short video on setting up our our home for either our children or ourselves to be as productive as possible over the next little while. Uh, a lot of us have just become homeschoolers, and um, and probably trying to juggle work from home as well. So life's just got interesting. So I'm going to talk about five things. Um, the first one is modelling, then adaptation, then it's our vision posture and the importance of breaks all right so the first one's modeling now um, my kids are currently inside working um, they're both wearing their school uniforms uh, because I'm trying to set up a demarcation between when they're working and then when it's playtime which will be later um, and um, so we're not washing their uniform every day necessarily but because they're only in it for you know six seven hours or whatever but um, but they're in their uniform at the moment and I'd suggest if you're working from home sitting around in a, in a bintang singlet um, isn't going to give you the best productivity particularly if you're doing some video conferencing but um, but getting yourself mentally prepared and part of that's putting on the right clothes um, you know if I was sitting here in a singlet my believability goes down so I've I've put on a, a, a flowered embroidered shirt somewhat ironically but um but getting our, our headspace right is a really really good start um, I've heard it said that the, the biggest enemies of working from home is the couch, the fridge and the television. So some of us are going to really thrive in, in working from home and some of us is just going to be awful. Um, irrespective as to what you say to your children, they're watching you and they're going to get far more out of that. So if you're constantly standing in front of the fi fridge and wondering why they're not concentrating, that's probably why. All right. So be disciplined with your snack times and what you're prepared to eat um, you know and, and moving your bodies around because they're watching and that's how they're gonna do the stuff that they're doing all right um, now number two I said I was going to talk about is adaptation whether we like it or not we're constantly adapting um, and a lot of us have just stopped going to the gym because the gyms have, have shut so we've been trying to build an adaptation around you know, moving our bodies and resisting load suddenly a lot of us are adapting to sitting on the couch or sitting on the, the office chair or whatever it is and our kids are the same um, so being conscious of that and keeping our environments varied is a really really good idea which moves me to vision all right so vision at the moment um, not everyone needs these things I, I do I've worn them since I was eight but a lot of us are going to find that um, sitting inside a lot of the time and same with our children their requirement for glasses and, and you know, negative things that happen go up with our vision so um, the first thing I bought when the kids started at home was another light bulb um, because we can fit two in the main light and it stops it being a mood light and makes it very very bright which is what kids need to to learn properly so we've got a nice bright environment um, we've got some natural light as well um, but a nice bright environment is is number one um, screens right now are just a necessary evil my kids are learning online uh, a lot of the work I do is is computer based we don't like looking at our children staring at screens but if they're going to which they need to right now you need to have that screen nice and bright um, now our eyes are current, constantly adapting and we want them to be able to see far, far away and, and nice and close as well. If all they do all day is this, they're going to lose that ability to long term, you know, the, the big adaption. So about every 20 minutes you want to go outside. Um, well, this is some, uh, something Dr. Carl said the other day. To keep 20-20 vision, every 20 minutes you want to go outside, stare at something 20 metres away for 20 seconds. It's a lot of 20s. Um, but yeah, you want to constantly be pushing your eyes that little bit further forward so that they can still um, still change properly um, which moves me on to number four oh, what would that be that's number four that's number four which is posture all right um, and posture is a lot to do with our, our setup because um, if your screen like I'm, I'm a chiropractor if I'm using my laptop and it's on my lap it takes no time until I'm doing these ones and our kids are going to be the same all right so unless you want to be constantly grumbling at your kids don't set them up for failure you want the screen height like the top third of the screen in line with their eyebrows so that they're motivated to keep looking upwards otherwise they're just going to their attention is going to end up going forward um, now some ways to do that is to get a second um, second keyboard sometimes to plug into the side of a laptop so that the screen can be put on a pile of books or a milk crate and the rest can be you know whilst you're typing down here um, so you, you can do that with a second screen or you can do that with a second keyboard um, and right now I don't know that JB are necessarily selling either because they're pretty much sold out of everything so uh, a lot of guys who have been coming in have been 
picking up extra stuff from their workplace. So um, one guy come in early this week, um, he had had, for his first three days of working from home, it had buckets of headaches. He worked out his screen setup and his whole setup was crap, picked up his screens from work because they're still open um picked up his screens from work set all that up properly at home and and you know now he's he's doing a whole lot better um so getting your screen height sorted is really really important now um sit stand desks i know we're in short supply at the moment they're they're pretty cool sitting is actually well standing is not a lot better for us than sitting um, the ability to move between the two makes that really, really useful. So you want to, say, sit for 20 minutes, stand for 5 or 10, sit, move around, you go outside, um, you take a few breaks, but being able to sit and stand is fantastic. Um, you don't need a flashy desk. You can use a pile of books or a milk crate. Um, Ikea sell a $10 coffee table desk called LAC, which is the perfect height to put on your desk. Put your computer on that, and, and you're at a better height to work from home. Um, kids can do really really well when they're using their tablet or we can too when they're using their tablet or using a laptop lying face down on the the ground so um, face down with their feet out behind them with their arcing their their neck and their spine upwards whilst they're either typing or reading it's just another posture to throw in the mix and if my kids want to use their tablet that's the way they have to use it um, that's just the standard in the house of the chiropractor you know, we're looking out for for necks and brains um, so the last point I was going to make, number five, is the importance of breaks. Um, you, you, just, uh, you just can't sit inside all day. So at the moment we're asked allowed to go outside for exercise and these sorts of things. We've been going for plenty of walks and jogs with the kids. Um, we can't use the play equipment at the moment, but you can certainly take a footy or a tennis ball along with you and keep yourselves moving. I know it cuts into the time that you're potentially supposed to be working or studying. I would suggest to you your efficiency or the amount of work output that you or your child will do when you put in say a 15 minute break every 45 minutes is far 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 more effective um, look I wasn't really looking forward to having um, this sort of homeschooling and I'm not really a homeschooler there's a there's a curriculum that, that comes along with the kids but um, this is not my forte I'm, I'm a really good chiropractor but I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a great teacher of children um, but you know so far I'm really enjoying this and um, this can be a great opportunity for us all to get to know our kids a little bit better um, and also if, if you don't have children at home just to get in some really good habits early because some of us are going to come out of this with um, leaner and, and with more muscle and more output than we ever have and some of us are going to come out as big fat alcoholics um, you know it's being really careful of our booze intake because a lot of us have been down and reached for a bottle of, of, of something um, you've really got to get, rein that in quickly um, because those little kids they're still watching you model your behavior um, look I hope that that is useful for you and um, and that you stay well and and keep your chin up see you soon